Hello, everybody. Give me a two in the chat if you can hear me really quick. Give me a two in the chat if you can hear me. Um, today, I want to come and have a really, really good talk. Give me a two in the chat again. If you can hear me, I want to give people a chance to come into the room. Okay. I know that I was supposed to do this live um a couple of days ago thank you guys so much for bearing with me uh I, Flo is on her way in town so I have been taking it very very easy but I do want to come in here and share some things with you today so give me a three really quick if you have ever heard about telogen effluvium and again thank you guys so much for being in here with me today let me know how long um, you guys have been subscribed to my channel because I love to hear it. You know, sometimes it's really, really good just to know how long people have been rocking with you, especially seeing that I've been doing this for so long. So again, let me know how long you guys have been here. Okay, so when we are talking about hair loss and when we're talking about balding and things of that nature, for the most part, we get so freaked out, which is 100% understandable, like 100%. It's so easy to understand why you would be completely freaked out if your hair began to thin out, right? It would be really, really scary, really scary. So this is why understanding um, the natural hair growth cycle is really, really important. And give me a three again if you are somebody who would run it. No, let's not do that. Let's not do the numbers. Let's say this. If you notice that your hair is balding, what's the first thing you're going to do? Are you going to put a product on the scalp or are you going to ingest it into the body? What is the very first thing for you to do? There, I'm not going to say there's no right or wrong answer because there is. But what is the first thing that your mind goes to? Is it ingesting something into the body to help with your hair growth? Or is it putting something on the scalp to help with your hair growth? Let me know. Before we move on, because I do have some things that I am ready to share with you on the screen, things that are going to pop up here on the screen. But before I do, I really need to make sure that we are all on the same page. So let's get into this. Let me see your comments. Both. Okay. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into this because today I am going to be sharing two herbs with you that will help you when it comes to balding and thinning. And I am going to break it down both in seeing a dermatologist. Yes. So again, really quick, while I'm getting stuff together, right, I need you to let me know where you're watching from. Let me know exactly where you're watching from right? Let me know where you are watching from. So that way I could be in here with you. And yes, you guys are about to see me get ready to share the screen because your girl was not ready. Okay. I was not, but now we are. Okay. So how many of you have heard of ashwagandha and how many of you have heard of Gota Cola? Which one and how many of you have heard of either one of these herbs? Because they are absolutely amazing. And it is the blend that makes up my new blend within Simple Apothecary called Peace Potion. And it is called Peace Potion because it is something that helps with stress on a completely different level. So today we are going to talk about how stress triggers hair loss and we are going to talk about what you can do to reverse it right and this is with taking my herbal blend and with just doing regular smegular things around the house so let me know if you are with me on this so if you can hear me because I don't want to keep going and I don't want to keep talking if you guys are not hearing me so again let me know if whether or not you can hear me give me a two in the chat all right
And again, as you are watching, I need you to let me know what roadblocks, if any, are you having? Name two roadblocks below because they're going to end by the end of this video. All right, so ashwagandha. Ashwagandha has a rich history deeply rooted in traditional medicine, particularly Ayurveda. So I want you guys really quick before we go into this right now, I want to say maybe over the last two years, people have begun to get into herbalism. Everybody's an herbalist now. So I really want you guys to understand what these different herbs do and what their abilities are. And I also want you to understand as it pertains to Ayurvedic herbs, India is the first place that social media has decided to, you know, stick to as it pertains to herbs. But that is not the only place that you can find different herbal complexes and things of that nature, right? So today we are going to be in India and we are in Africa. And this blend is in both, okay? So. Again, ashwagandha, scientifically known as this name right here, because I'm not going into it right now, has been a fundamental herb in Ayurvedic medicine, which originated in ancient India over 3,000 years ago. So everything we're about to talk about with ashwagandha is something that has been in books for a very long time. Okay. <laughs> so these are things that you will be able to go and research on your own. Okay. But it has historically been used to address stress and enhance vitality and support the immune system. So we are going to go into why, deep down into why. Now, the earliest mentions of ashwagandha can be found in ancient Ayurvedic texts. So here you can go over to my blog post, which is linked in the description box below, and you can find it exactly. You can find exactly what I'm talking about and you can take the time to read it. But right now, I'm just going to give you a brief overcast of everything that you can find in those books. Okay, so adaptogenetic effects. Now, ashwagandha is considered an adaptogen, helping the body to adapt to stress to maintain balance. Now, this is so important. You know why? One of the main causes of balding, and a, a lot of it, in my opinion, is being misdiagnosed um, as certain forms of alopecia, CCCA, and certain things of that nature. When most of my clients, after they book one-on-one -on -one consultations with me, with just a few minor changes and with stress reduction, they are able to increase sebum production, reset skin cell turnover cycle, and take themselves out of telogen effluvium. Very, very simply. All right, stick around. Now, telogen effluvium is a hair loss condition characterized by excessive shedding of the hair follicle of the hair during the telogen phase of the hair growth cycle. Now, remember, I've taught you guys in previous videos that the telogen phase of the hair growth cycle is the resting phase. So you have the anogen phase first, which is the phase of the hair growth cycle where your body is producing new hair growth cells, right? Or next up, or or and then next up, you have the catalogia phase, and the catalogia phase is the phase of your hair growth cycle where your hair is basically stopping growing, right? And then the hair follicle detaches itself from the blood supply, but only about 10% of your hair follicles are in this state at any point in time, right? And then the telogen phase is the next phase of the hair growth cycle where your hair rests, right? And this is only lasting for a couple of months, right? But and only about anywhere between 10 to 15% of your hair follicles are supposed to be in the telogen phase at one time but then when you are somebody who has stress in any way shape or form which we'll talk about in a second it pushes the majority of your follicles into the resting phase of the hair growth cycle so instead of 10 percent of the follicles being in the telogen phase uh, anywhere from about let's go ahead and say anywhere between about 60 to 90 percent of the follicles are in telogen effluvia which is why you are noticing the balding and thinning but if we can take the hair out of the resting phase, the hair growth cycle will begin again. So let's get into it. 
Now, let's talk about telogen effluvium. Telogen effluvium is the hair shell for the follicle disorder that is characterized by the follicle being stuck in the telogen phase. You stuck in the telogen phase, you have telogen effluvium, all right? Now, in telogen effluvium, a larger portion of the hair follicles than usual enter the telogen phase of the hair growth cycle all at one time. This results in noticeable hair shedding and a few months after the stressful event. So most people will think that when you, if, if telogen effluvium is caused by stress, then somebody stresses you out on Monday, your hair falling out Tuesday night. It doesn't work like that. Because if somebody stresses you out in January, you're not really going to start seeing results or balding from that stress in January until about March or April. So these are things that I really want you to start thinking about because telogen effluvium is something that happens progressively, all right? Now, it is often reversible once the underlying stress is addressed. So once you get that trigger handled, then the hair growth cycle is reset. Now, managing stress and adopting a healthy lifestyle and seeking professional guidance can aid in that. And this is why cortisol is the number one protein killer within your body. You know why? Because whenever you are having stress, and this is coming from an outside source, right? It could be somebody stressing you out on your job. It could be good stress, right? It could be maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're having a baby, anything, any type of stress. This is why most women, after they have a baby, end up balding. Why? Because I'm sorry, I have two children. And as a woman, I cannot think of anything more stressful to my body than when I gave birth, right? Give me a two in the chat if you follow me before we move on, because we about to get real deep right now. We're about to get real deep, all right? I asked everybody where they were from, where they were watching from. But before I start going, because listen, once, once, I, once I jump into cortisol, we, I'm, I'm not going to be able to, I don't know. What did you say? You're definitely under a lot of stress. Okay, stress. Then it unbalded in the crown. Do you have stress? I drink black tea with turmeric and ginger. Good. Breaking off. Well, see, break is just different. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. So let's get back into it, y'all. We'll just make it sure everybody was with me. Okay, so cortisol. The role of stress. Now, this is the scientific uh, equation for cortisol. Everything that I'm saying can be fact checked. So I want you to go ahead, take the screenshots that you need. That's why I'm not on camera today because it's not about me. It is about the facts. Drinking water, excuse me. Stress triggers the release of hormones, including cortisol, the primary stress hormone, adrenaline, and others, right? We have other stress hormones, but today we're talking about cortisol. So it once you get online and you start researching, I am acknowledging that there are other stress hormones, but today we are talking about one, cortisol, because we will be here for hours if I address all of them. Let's talk about cortisol today, okay? Because Cortisol is the primary stress hormone, all right? Chronic stress disrupts the body's hormonal balance, affecting various physiological processes, okay? So cortisol and the hair follicles. Elevated cortisol, cortisol levels impact the hair follicles, leading to changes in the hair growth cycle. Now, give me a five if you have seen my videos on the hair growth cycle. I have made one video on every phase of the hair growth cycle. And after we leave out of here, if you have not watched those videos, make sure you go and watch it. Because I've been studying the science of hair my entire adult life, right? And I'm about to be 34 this year. There is no way that I can break down everything into just one video like it's layers and layers and layers to understanding the excellence of the human body right so 
Knowing this, you can understand how excessive stress can push a significant number of the hair follicles into telogen, the resting phase, simultaneously. Cortisol is a steroid hormone produced by the adrenal glands, and it plays a crucial role in various activities within the body. And one of these primary functions is metabolizing energy, and this is what makes you stressing out something that causes you to lose your hair because cortisol is known as a protein destroyer and we're going to talk about it a little bit more okay so the primary hormone associated with stress is cortisol again now i need you guys to understand that when cortisol is released within the body it is re- it is released to fight right? To fight against anything that can be causing stress to the body. Your body is not knowing what is going on. All it's knowing is that you are in fight or flight. So this is a fight or flight response. Your body releasing cortisol. This is a fight or flight response. So that's something really important for you to understand. And these elevated levels are going to, again, affect the hair follicle. And this is why it's really important, right? This is a stress response. So when the body perceives stress, whether it's physical, right, it doesn't matter. It is going to send a signal to a certain area of your brain to release cortisol. And whenever cortisol is released, it stimulates the liver to convert amino acids into glucose through a certain process. And this is going to increase your blood sugar levels. And this is providing a quick source of energy for the body's immediate needs and responses to stress, right? Basically, what this is saying is anytime you you stress out, right? Your body is like, okay, we need to release more. Let's release more. We have to stimulate her body because, or his body because they need to be able to fight. Whatever this fight is, whatever this enemy is that they're stressing out about, let's go ahead and use different energy sources, Like, right? Let's use some stored up energy sources. What are some stored up energy sources? your hair, your skin, your nails, your body is going to stop the flow to the parts of the body that are not really needed for fight or flight. Like if you're in a fight or flight situation, like back in the days, right? You're in a fight or flight situation. You don't need long hair to do that. You don't need long nails to do that. You don't need beautiful skin to do that. So your body's going to stop stimulating and stop sending those processes, um, in their normal routines and their normal patterns first, okay? Protein breakdown. Cortisol promotes the breakdown of proteins in tissues, releasing amino acids into the bloodstream. These amino acids can be used for energy production to support other essential bodily functions. So that is a a more, uh, more complicated, more complex way of what I just said. So I really hope that makes sense. Give me a two if you are with me before I keep moving on, because if I keep moving on and you guys are not with me, I feel like I'm going to lose people and I don't want to lose anybody. So let me know if you are with me, because now we are moving to Africa. We are going to Africa for a minute. but Let me check in. Let's check in. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be live either, but you know how when I flow coming, you can feel her coming. I feel like I'm going to be in the bed for the next couple of days. So if I don't do it today, it's a good chance y'all won't see me for a couple of days. So, yeah, I'm going to get back into it. But everybody's with me. You're with me. Good. Okay, Guta Cola is amazing. I'm so in love with it. Now, it's indigenous to South Africa, and it is originally native to tropical and subtropical parts of India and Asia. It is also found in Australia and southern 
parts of the United States and South America. Now, it is beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful plant, and it has some amazing properties. And what it does in conjunction with ashwagandha is amazing, but it is so amazing. And it is an herb commonly used for so many different things that align with ashwagandha like its adaptogenetic properties. Now, it is considered an adaptogen helping the body to adapt to stress and promoting balance. It is also known for its potential conjunct of properties. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my God, sorry y'all. Enhancing memory concentration, anti-inflammatory. The herb exhibits anti-inflammatory properties contributing to overall health. Wound healing. This is one of my favorite parts. This is one of my favorite parts because most of the time, um, the place that everybody's in now, especially if you are in a place where you are trying to, ooh, excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> especially if you are in a place where you are trying to heal yo, any type of scalp inflammation. Let's say you did a relaxer on yourself. You got a chemical burn. Let's say any anything. Let's say it's something that doesn't have anything to do with your scalp, right? Let's say that it is just something in your body that you're having a problem with, like me with HS. When I am ingesting this herbal blend, listen, my lesions are not even lesions. They don't even come on top of the skin. They'll like act like they're going to come up and they'll be like, never mind. And then they go right back in. So it's so amazing. It's wound healing capabilities. Amazing for your skin health. And next is going to be collagen production. It stimulates collagen synthesis, aiding in the skin's elasticity. So this is amazing. And most of the time, anytime we're talking about skin, we're always talking about the skin simply on our face as if we don't have skin on our scalp. Your scalp is skin. So most of the time when you cannot keep a healthy hair growth cycle is because you don't have healthy skin on your scalp. Next up is going to be is antioxidant properties. Rich in antioxidants, it helps combat oxidative stress within the body. And remember, oxidative stress is the thing that wreaks havoc on all of the body's normal systems. And a lot of times it is the the presence of oxidative stress within the body that causes all of the body's natural systems to go off balance, which is what leads to the balding and the thinning in the first place. All right. So there are so many other different usages for this herb, right? But both ashwagandha and gota cola have been studied for their predict for their potential adaptogenetic properties, right? Which may contribute to stress reduction and consequently lower cortisol levels. Because again, we went deep into cortisol, understanding that cortisol being spiked within your body is one of, one of if not the leading cause of your skin, hair, and, and your nails breaking down, especially your hair. Every client that I have, when they reduce their stress levels and keep their scalp clean and clear from bacteria, hair grows back every time. Every time. Super simplistic, super easy. All right. Now, again, we've talked about it already with ashwagandha being an adaptogen and it regulates your cortisol levels. Studies have shown that ashwagandha may reduce cortisol levels, particularly during stressful situations. Listen, this tea blend is so amazing. It's something that I drink at the beginning of my days and at the end of my days. And what's great about something being an adaptogen, something that's an adaptogen literally adapts to what your body needs at the time. So if when I get up in the morning, I need my body to get up with me and and adapt to the new form that I'm going in, like, okay, I'm about to get work done. I need to focus. The ashwagandha and the gota cola will help my, my mind to focus on whatever my task is at hand at that time. And then 
if I'm going to sleep, right? If I'm trying to go to bed, let's say you have one of those wandering minds and you just need to focus on sleep and your concentration to go to bed. This is an amazing blend because again, it is an adaptogen. So it's adapting to the different situations that you are experiencing, right? So for example, let's say you have a really, really high stress job. If you have a high stress job, but then a peaceful home environment, you would need an adaptogen. That's something that is going to cause you stress because you're going from a stressful situation to peace, from stress to peace, from stress to peace. So you need something to help your body adapt to those different emotional situations, those highs and lows. Or even if you're not going into a good situation, maybe it's just always some bullshit. Then also an adaptogen will help your body adapt with the stress without it sending outrageous amounts of cortisol into your body. So that way your body is not attacking itself. All right. It's something that's so important. So that's why it's something that I really, really want everybody to make a part of their regular smuggler, especially if you're somebody who deals with stress, right? So the blend of ashwagandha and glutacola may really, really potentially benefit the body's immune system. Now, although all people's responses are going to be different depending on the way that you've been living, depending on the way that you've been eating, like, for example, don't get mad at me, but don't think that you can eat double cheeseburgers with mac sauce and extra bacon with double the pickles you know, a couple times a week and be like, oh, all I got to do is drink my ashwagandha, my peace potion, and I'm okay. No, it doesn't work like that. So you really want to be cautious of what you're putting in the body. So this is really, really important. And a lot of studies have shown that ashwagandha really, really works at really, really powering up your immune system. So it's helping to regulate the body's immune system's response. So your immune system isn't just going haywire for anything, for example. With hydronitis superativa, it is literally like my body sees my sweat or my overproduction of hormones as a threat. So my body, my immune system turns on my body and starts attacking itself. That's where the boils and things like that from hydronitis superativa comes in. But when I ingest an adaptogen into my body, it never happens, you guys. The only time it happens is if I start to do things that I shouldn't do, like eat things that I know that I shouldn't eat or if I slow down on the process of ingesting certain herbs, then I'll have that problem, right? But as long as I'm in system, we're good. It also has anti-inflammatory effects that may contribute to overall immune support. Now, it's so important that you know that gotacola is also rich in antioxidants, which may help to neutralize free radicals and support immune function as well. So you are helping your body adapt to stress and you are attacking different free radicals and protecting your body against oxidative stress and powering up your immune system before anything ever happens, right? But of course, we always have warnings. I always want to give warnings, especially when it comes to herbs, because I think that now that um, social media is here and social media is so prevalent, it makes everybody feel like they could just use everything and just throw all caution to the wind. But that's not true, right? I want you to always look up the side effects for any herb that we're talking about. I need you guys to understand that literally every uh, pharmaceutical drug that you use that is in your cabinet right now was derived from an herb. I really need y'all to know that. Uh, Volume was made and pressed out of valerian root. I need you guys to know this. All right. So you always want to make sure that you do your research on herbs and things of that nature before you use them. So let me give you our cautions and our warnings. Number one, pregnant or nursing. Women should consult their health care provider due to the potential effects of on pregnancy and breastfeeding. Number two, thyroid disorders. Ashwagandha may influence thyroid function, so individuals with thyroid disorders should consult their doctors. Number three, autoimmune disorders. 
excuse me, ashwagandha can stimulate the immune system, which may be problematic for individuals with autoimmune conditions. So be aware. Number four, diabetes. Both herbs may affect blood sugar levels and adjustments to diabetic medications may be necessary. Number five, blood pressure medications. Go to cola might have a mild blood pressure lowering effect. So those on blood pressure medications should consult their healthcare provider. Always seek professional advice to ensure safety and suitability based on your individual health circumstances. I really hope that everybody takes this into consideration. So let's make sure that you guys check the links in the description box below. When we um, finish up here today, we're not done, but make sure you check the links in the description box below when we finish up here today, just so you guys can always have your hands on all of the information that you need. If you want to join my seven day hair growth challenge, you can do that. If you want to book a one-on-one consultation with me, I will let you guys know when I'll be open in the books back up, or we'll talk about that at the end of this video. But I need you guys to answer these questions for me. What are your roadblocks? Are you constantly hitting a growth wall? Are you having a great growth journey, right? And then you have a big setback, like bald and or thin, and you don't understand where the heck it's coming from. Or are you getting excessive shedding and thinning all the time and you don't know why? Like, why? What is going on, right? While you're trying to figure that out, make sure you do me a favor and take a screenshot of your favorite part of this webinar and tag me in it on Instagram. This is my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already doing it. You know what I mean? So we have to go through different stages, right? And even though this is third stage within the seven day challenge, they get one and two. And so I'm not going into everything. Y'all don't kill me. Okay. Seven day challenge people. We will be going live tomorrow via Zoom. Everybody's on the screen talking, asking questions. So make sure you're there. But I need you guys to first detox the body, detox the scalp, and detox the hair shaft. So, so far on this lesson today and in this talk, what do you think about it? One being, I disagree with everything you said. None of these herbs do that. You're making this up. And 10 being, oh my God, this is amazing. Yes, I've heard of all of that. I'm getting me some. Let me know in the chat <laughs> and be honest, what do you need to change, right? Because we're here to learn. So what do you need to change or do you not need to change anything? Are you like, girl, I'm good. And now this is not a quiz for the chat. This is a quiz for everybody who is watching this on replay. So I need you to answer this question for me, replay gang. And if you're watching this live, when this video ends, I need you to answer this question within the comments because I have a herbal giveaway coming very soon for our winner. So make sure you go in the comments and answer this question. All right. Yes. What makes hair curly? I'm going to just give you this picture real quick, but I'm going to need you to know that. So again, this live is sponsored by Simple Apothecary with our Peace Potion, which is the perfect blend of ashwagandha and go to cola for stress relief and hair growth, taking you out of telogen effluvium and making sure that you never get there again. So make sure you check the links in the description box below so you can head over and get you some because you you guys know that all of my herbal blends sell out very fast. We are currently sold out of two of our top sellers. They'll be back in stock in a couple of days, but our blends sell out fast. So if you want to take Telogen effluvium by the neck, slap it around and tell it to leave you alone, then make sure you check the links in the description box below to get your hands on this herbal blend. All you need is about a teaspoon, I'm a teaspoon, about, yeah, a teaspoon of this blend. And y'all, magic magic. You can do magic. I'm telling you, you can. Okay. I love, 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 love this herb. There are so many different things that haunt our bodies. And we think that we have to find a different hair product to put on the scalp. But you guys, your hair and your scalp only absorbs 36% of whatever you put on it versus the 96 to 98% that your body ingests. 
listen, take advantage and get this blend, this peace potion with ashwagandha and gutta cola before it sells out. It's organic and you have to get your hands on it. It's it's everything, you guys. So again, thank you for sticking through with me through this lecture. I am so glad to always share this information with you. I'm always wanting to give you guys visual representations of what I'm talking about. I think that we think that our scalp is so one dimensional. You just look at a hair strand and skin on the scalp and think that that's it, where that's only the very top layer. There is a city below and you are responsible for making sure that that city is running the way that it is supposed to. So question in the chat right now, this is not a rhetorical question. I need to know because now we're about to talk. Did you learn anything? Let's talk in the comments really quick. Did you learn anything? Take a screenshot of some of these pictures. I need you guys to become familiar with what your hair follicle looks like. Because if this is what you see in your mind, whenever you go to put a product on your scalp, you're going to think twice about it. Like, what am I really doing to my blood vessels? Do my blood vessels need this grease and this oil? Is it really necessary? These are the things that I want you to think about. All right. These are the things that I want you to think about. And I also want you to know that when you put oil on the scalp, you're feeding bacteria. Please know that you're feeding bacteria. I want you to know that. Right. Our only job and our only objective should be making sure that the hair shaft and the scalp stays clean and free from debris and bacteria. Because when you don't, you grow cysts under the skin. You know, the same type of way that you grow pus filled bumps on your face. You can grow that on your scalp too. It comes under the skin. So our main objective and our only job is to keep the hair shaft and the scalp clean and clear. All right. That is the roadmap. That is the way that we get to the place that we need to be. Again, I always promote my seven day challenge because it's amazing. It's literally your payment for access to a lifetime of group coaching where you can be in a group with hundreds of other women who are in the same exact place that you're at. As a matter of fact, if I have any people within the seven day challenge in here right now, listening to the sound of my voice, whether you're in here listening to me live or watching this on replay, do me a favor and drop some books in the chat. Just drop some books in the chat because that's out of gurus. Let me know they in the building. All right. So enroll now and get this bonus where literally a lot of times when we're inside of the seven day challenge group, they'll make a post and I'm responding to them right away as if, you know, we're texting because it's like texting me. I get the messages to my phone like a text message. So make sure um, that you go ahead and sign up for the seven day challenge. Even if you can't pay for it all at one time, you can break it down into a couple of different payments using Sizzle. So all you're going to do is add the seven day challenge to your cart. Go to checkout. Don't add your card information, but go to the place where you add your card information and slide up and right under where you would add your card information. There's going to be a little icon, a logo, the Sizzle logo, just like this. Click that logo and then you are able to join the seven day challenge for as little as $25. So there's literally no excuse. Enroll now and you get a bonus where you learn your porosity for free and so many other things. You're going to learn your skin cell turnover cycle. So many people ask me like, okay, Sin, well, how exactly am we am I able to increase sebum production? Well, I've been here on YouTube for a long time. And a lot of people are like, oh my God, how did I see you? Well, it's because the YouTube algorithm didn't want you to, but a whole lot of other people did. And a lot of my content has been stolen and remixed over the years. So now all of my really, really important stuff is behind a paywall within my seven day challenge, eBooks and so many other things. So if you want even deeper information, then head over there. Do not take my word for it. You can check testimonials. So let's head over into the chat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into some of your questions and comments. And you let me know if whether or not you want to see some testimonials from the seven day challenge, because I'm very willing to read some because I have amazing testimonials, amazing testimonials in here. 
Ooh, seven day challenge member in here. Okay, let's go up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Makes sense, but I'm already taking a lot of prescriptions of will this be okay to add i will have to know what prescriptions and vitamins you're taking i don't know the amount of protein mm -hmm. make sure you guys leave the answers in um in the chat when this is over right um you really take time to explain. I appreciate you. It's my pleasure. And the reason that I take the time to explain is because when I don't explain things in detail, people can take bits and pieces of my content and twist it to make it to be other things. So I try to be as specific as I possibly can. So that way, everybody will have things like really, really clear, right? And And then if it is... If it's something that is confusing to most, if I'm able to put it like in layman's terms for you, then it's really easy for you to understand and it's easy for you to repeat and put in your own words, right? So if I'm explaining something to you and I use I use an analogy of a crackhead, right? <laughs> you can use your own analogy instead of a crackhead being the thing that you use. You can use something else. Or for example, when somebody say, oh, what how do you feel about co-wash when I say oh do you co-wash your ass it's like I'm not saying that to be vulgar I'm saying that because I want you to draw the parallel of how crazy it sounds like to co-wash your butt and co-washing your hair I want you to make that uh connection Okay, so yeah, um, that was pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. I'm going to go up a little bit more. Um, oh, crap. I'm going to go up a little bit more just to see if whether or not um, there are any questions that I missed. But I am just coming here again just to let you guys know that you do have an option when it comes to telogen effluvium. When it comes to telogen effluvium and balding that is caused by um, a hormonal imbalance or anything like that. It is so imperative that you get something that helps you to regulate stress. So I wanted to come out and say that. Well, it's only look, I I think I think people gonna take this the wrong way. The only reason it's the end is because I already know everything it is that I need to know. So I'm only just here making myself available to y'all. But girl, I'm kind of tired. So I can go lay down. So if don't nobody, <laughs> if don't nobody got no questions, then your girl about to head on out because I'm not here for entertainment. I just wanted to make sure that I came and answer questions. And um, I also wanted to come on here because earlier today, like I said, the videos that I've been posting lately have not been for views. They've all been to answer questions for all of the new subscribers that I have because most of the questions that y'all have I've already made videos for and I'm not being rude but I'm just reposting all of these videos I'm not gonna sit down and record these videos all over again when I've been saying this stuff for decades and in the past people didn't want to see it so I took the videos down and now I feel like people are at a different place where they're able to receive so now I am reposting them for the people who want to see the information she has an old spirit she speaks like our elders would when we say something silly. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think that's because my daddy was an old dude. My listen, <laughs> my daddy's oldest sister is the same age as my grandma. Hold on, y'all. This is my mama. Hold on. Yeah, guys. So um, 
that is one of the main reasons that the majority of the reason why I make the type of uh, videos that I make is because I've already, I've been saying this stuff for years. Like the majority of people are just finding me over these last couple of years, but now people are trying to blame Olaplex for all of the balding where Olaplex has been around since before I got my cosmetology license and I got my cosmetology license when I was 19 and I'm about to be 34 years old this year. So anytime people who don't read directions get a hold of a product, they ruin it. This is why I low key have no plans anytime soon of introducing any type of hair product to the industry because nobody follows directions. And if y'all can tear down Olaplex, who am I? Okay, so that's why I spend my time just trying to educate and just trying to teach information. I had a one-on-one with you to seven for the first time in 10 years. My CCCAH has stopped completely. It was worth every single penny. Oh my God, I'm so excited to hear that. That makes me so happy. At this point, I low-key wish that I was on screen so you could just see how big I was smiling, how big I'm smiling because I think that people think that I'm just one of these normal YouTubers out here like, no, listen to me. It's like, no, you really should listen to me because I really know what I'm talking about because I remember all of my clients. And so I know exactly who you are. And most of my clients that come to me when they go see a dermatologist and their dermatologist say you have CCCA, they tell them that that's it. There's nothing else you can do maybe you can get a hair transplant, but there's nothing else you could do. Your hair follicle is dead. It'll never grow back. And after we had our one-on-one consultation, you don't have to tell them what I told you to do. You don't have to tell them our business. You don't have to tell them. But can you confirm for me that you did not have to go out and buy five or six oils? As a matter of fact, I didn't tell you to use one oil, did I? You didn't have to go use no oils on your scalp, no butters. I didn't tell you to hang your head upside down. You didn't have to go do no crazy styles. Blow dryers weren't the devil. Flat irons weren't the devil. It was no answer. None of that. She, none of that. None of it. The reason why most of us have CCCA and the different things that we are dealing with is because of the patterns and the routines that we follow. So it just makes me so happy to see that, right, to see this because I really, really put my all into my clients and I'm really sitting there listening, making sure that you get the best out of your time with me because I know (laughs) I don't charge $2 an hour. Like it's it's not cheap. But the reason that my one-on-one consultations are $150 an hour is because for one, your insurance gets charged way more than that when you go see your dermatologist. And most come see me after they went to see their dermatologist and their dermatologist told them that they were going to be bald for the rest of their life. And then we have an hour-long consultation. They listen to me. They do what I told them that what I say, and they don't like try to add nothing, none of the YouTube hacks, none of the Instagram hacks, and the CCCA that your dermatologist told you was for the rest of your life and your hair would never come back, it's back. I, I just asked her, can you go ahead and confirm that for me? What Did I tell you to use the oil? Did I tell you to use the butter or anything like that? She said, no, no oils, no butters, and my hair is silky. You know why? Because we were able to reset her natural skin cell turnover cycle. She detoxed through a certain pattern and she set her hair growth cycle over. She was able to control her follicles and her scalp. And the majority of the reason why most black women are suffering from alopecia, CCCA, and all of these other follicle disorders is because you have no control over your hair growth cycle. These product lines do. The product lines and the the oils and the butters that they sell you, they have control over your hair growth cycle. Every single time, my clients, my my clients get results. Period. That's why I'm I'm never entertaining it. Y'all don't see negativity on my channel no more. It's not because it's not there. It's because I'm blocking them. Like when I say. If you're going to make a comment on my channel, please make sure that you at least like. 
just think about what you're going to say before you say it. And if you don't know if, whether or not you agree with me yet and you're still trying to fill it out, keep your comments to yourself before you know, until you know. Because if you just decide that you're going to come out, well, you a liar. And this don't make sense to me because my mama said, I'm blocking you before I even read it. I, like, I don't get past maybe like three or four words because I'm not lowering my energy. I know what I know. I know that I know that I know. I get results. And then my clients go back to the same dermatologist that told them that they would be bald forever. And the dermatologist be like, oh, wow, she's great. You should you should keep going to her. I have a couple of clients whose dermatologists want my numbers so they can. And then their dermatologists end up referring me to people that they don't feel like they can help. I'm telling you what I know. Hold on, y'all. Hold on real quick. Hold on, sugar. I think it's cool. Some lip chat. <clears throat> can I take this herbal tea while wow, you sure can? You sure can. My dad is older as well, so I get it. Listen, people are still misinformed on all the plaques. And I refuse to fight with stupid. And this is the thing. Because you're in the challenge, so you already know. Listen, in the challenge, one of the one of one of the things that we are on now in the seven day challenge group, right, is phase two of the challenge, which is not not giving your attention to things that don't serve you. So I'm going to say the same thing here on my channel. Listen. When I make videos, I am making videos for people who are on my vibration. If y'all are on channels that say something opposed to what I say, I am begging you, stop telling these people to come to my channel. Stop saying, oh, don't do this. Listen to sin. You do not have to do that. I do not want them over here, y'all. I have been doing this for over 10 years. I've been a licensed cosmetologist for a long time and I've been on the same thing the whole time. I haven't folded yet. I, you cannot, you cannot teach logic to an illogical person. You cannot speak logic to an illogical mind. You cannot do it. You can't. Before you know it, you're going to be stupid too. No, I, I have no desire to, to, conversate with them to go back and forth about it like people like they have no no objective to learn new information they just want to argue because people like the victim mentality and if you are still subscribed to team natural stuff you get to play the victim and i don't care i'm not i'm not here for it the video i posted earlier today i knew that video wasn't gonna get a bunch of views it wasn't gonna get thousands of views you know why because i taught y'all how to find cosmetologists like me a cosmetologist like me, there's after we get done here, go watch the video that I posted this morning where I broke down exactly how to find a cosmetologist like me and how to separate a cosmetologist like me from the ones that y'all have been going to because they are out there. Y'all just don't know how to find them. And I know that they are because in the video I posted this morning, I literally found like four of them in in less than two minutes. So I know you can do it. Y'all just not doing it right. So far, I'm loving Olaplex. I just need to get my ends trimmed. I'm coming up on 12 weeks with no trim. Yeah. Should I do for my ends while I research and seek a licensed cosmetologist? Nothing. Just get a trim and leave them alone. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Get a trim every 10 weeks. Have a style. That causes you, or not a style, but wear your hair in a way that causes no manipulation. One of the main problems that women have is y'all think that y'all hair has to be in a style. One of the main reasons why even little girls can't maintain their length is because black women think that their hair always has to be in a tight style, a tight ponytail, braids and twisties. There have been people out giving y'all information for decades, but y'all refuse to listen. If the, if the information that somebody gives you doesn't allow you to follow the same patterns that you've been following you 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 push them away 
So it's not that people haven't been here giving knowledge. They've been giving knowledge. Y'all just don't listen. They've been telling you that having braids for long periods of time is damaging to the hair. But now everybody's jumping on board with a woman who is now promoting having a weave, one weave in your head for seven months. And y'all are all going to jump on it and y'all are all going to follow it. Y'all are all going to do it. Y'all are all going to pay the money until y'all hair starts balding in about five to six years. And then it's going to be this big outrage. And then we're going to do this shit all over again. It's a never-ending cycle. This is my um coaching client again. But I saw results so quickly. I truly couldn't believe it. God has you mm -hmm, on a mission. Thank you so much. It is my pleasure. You know why I get off? And you know why I'll never stop? No matter whose little bald head skittle diddle granddaughter say something to me no matter who little funky little attitude having granddaughter little grandson little little whatever say something to me it's because of people like you i'm here for you i don't care nothing about nobody little bald head granddaughter i don't care i don't care nothing about it i'm here for people like you Women who go to see a dermatologist because they're skin bald and the dermatologist tells them that there's no hope and I come and tell you that all you have to do is change these generational patterns and your hair will come back. You change those generational habits and it comes back. And then your doctor is like, whoa, that's why I do this. And nobody will ever stop me. So it don't even matter. <laughs> it don't. Isn't it amazing? My hair feels amazing with no butters. Listen, I have been scientific brushing every other day. My hair is coated in sebum. Listen, uh, I use Olaplex 7. What are we talking about? What are we, what are we doing? What are we talking about? What are, what are we doing? What, what, what are we doing? What are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? So it's okay if we use butter and oil on the hair, but should we, okay. When you lay down, when you lay, I'm just asking you a question and then you answer this question for yourself because the questions that we ask are common sense. Don't get mad at me. These are common sense. You do not have to go to school for this. So your hair is a fiber, right? So I need you to do me a favor. Go put oil and butter just on your hair. Just put it on your hair and don't go get a, a pillow and put a light gray silk pillowcase on it and then lay down on that pillowcase. And then when you get up from the pillowcase, you're going to see that the oil that you put on your hair is on the pillowcase. So the question that I have for you is what is stopping the oil from getting on your scalp? But the hair, the oil went from your hair to the pillowcase. That's a fact, right? Because people want to argue with me if whether or not these are facts and stuff. Okay, we, we, okay, okay. So when you put the oil, coconut oil, hemp seed oil, whatever your favorite little oil is, okay, you just put it on your ends. You only put it on your ends. That's it. Then you lay down on a pillow on a, a specifically a light gray silk or satin pillowcase. Lay back. That oil is going to be on that pillowcase. And I need you, not you. I'm not being rude to you. I'm talking to everybody who disagrees with me and things of that nature. What is going to stop? If, if you can see that the oil went from your hair to that silk or satin pillowcase, what is going to stop the oil from going from your hair to your scalp when your hair is still attached to the follicle? I'm not being a smart ass. I am so serious. Like, I want to activate your common sense. If we can activate your common sense, then we won't have to talk. We, we don't even have to have these conversations. This is common sense. This is stupid. And I, I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm saying, like, the fact that we can't, like, put this stuff together, this is why we're easily to manipulate. This is why we're so easily manipulated. Think about it. If you lay down... On a silk or satin pillowcase, after you put oil in your hair, you just put it on your ends. Even just putting it on your ends. When you lay back on the pillowcase, the oil is on the pillow. Why do you think that the oil is not going to be on your scalp? Make it make sense. You can't make it make sense because there is nothing that makes sense. 
Every last person that is in my seven day challenge does not put oil on their scalp. And you know what? They are in freaking shock that now that they're not putting oil on their scalp, they're like, oh my God, man, I'm now, I feel like I have to wash my hair twice a week. My hair is so oily and I'm not putting any oil in it. So if your scalp is dry, it's because you're doing something wrong. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. That's why in the seven day challenge, um, we don't argue or nothing like that ever in the seven day challenge. But one of my beauties had came in there and was like, hey, Sam, I saw this person dealing with this stuff on YouTube. And I told them about your channel and I went on there and then she showed a screenshot of them like, oh, forget that. We not listening to her. Listen, let the blind lead the blind. Let the sheep follow their shepherd. And let the person who let the people who can think for themselves think for themselves and let's go over here and let's change these foundations. That's it. That's all. But the more time you spend in all of these chat rooms arguing about whether or not black women have oily oil in their scalp and that we should use combs and brushes and all of this shit, you wasting time, my baby. You wasting time. Like, what are we doing? Because we've been in chats arguing about hair for decades now for uh, not decades for over a decade now for over 10 years y'all been in, on blogs arguing about hair and can't nobody figure shit out it's still a new hair product every other month so at what point are we gonna say okay i think we should do something else that's why I tell everybody that's in my challenge, I don't need y'all to be like, oh, come over here with sin because I'm from the show me state, even though even though Detroit, not the show me state, it's another one. But in the D, listen, like I don't I'm I'm not one of those people who walk around like, oh, look at me. I'm the best. I let my work speak for me through my entire career. There is not one time that I ever had to say, oh, I'm the best out silk presses. I'm the best. Can't nobody do it like me. Can't. I never had to tell my clients that because even now, still to this day, my clients still can't find nobody who did it like me. I never have to say that. It is a fact that does not have to be reiterated. It doesn't. It doesn't. When we go back and we look at the tapes, when we look at the records, when we look at the dates on the first black cosmetologist, one of the first black cosmetologists on YouTube using a round brush like me, I was one of the first ones. It's not something that we got to go back and forth about. It's, it's not. It's not a thing. It's not. It's something that people like to do, but it's not something that has to be done. And these are things that I want everybody to really, really understand. I started the seven day challenge in 2022. Oh, baby. <laughs> it took a long time not using oil at all, but I don't put any oil and don't need it to detangle either. Listen, my sebum is running free, so it stays soft and shiny. Listen, I'm telling you what I know. What are we talking about? I'm telling you what I know. So it's one thing for somebody to be like, oh, I did this on my hair and it worked. I did this on my hair. Forget that. I'm not even giving y'all what I do on my hair. I'm giving you multiple people, hundreds of people who stop using oils and butters in their scalp and their hair is more oily now than it's ever been in their life. Get at me. What are we talking about? What up? I don't, I don't have to go back and forth with nobody about nothing. My work speaks for me. Let every tree bear its own fruit. My tree bears its own fruit. It doesn't even matter. Anybody that connects with me gets results, period. Period. The only way that somebody who doesn't connect with me doesn't get a result is if, if they don't do what I say. Or if they try to mix team natural stuff with other stuff. There is no one that comes in contact with me that leaves the same, period. Feel how you you want to feel about what I got to say. It's a definite fact. Sorry for crunching um, ice in your ear. <clears throat> no oil, meditation, breathing, minding my business and spending time being with good folks keeps me balanced. You better say that. You better say that. Louder for the people, louder, louder, louder for the people in the back that ain't got no money. That's feeling funny. Hey, shit. I was watching one of your videos. 
and you say that that your leave in is a heat protected. I use Aussie Miracle Curls leave in milk and it says leave in now that air dry. Aussie in 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 the Aussie commercials did you okay, are you black? In the Aussie commercials have you Aussie is not for black people. Okay? It's not. It's not. I'm going to take a picture one day. And then in general, y'all, the, the word condition means to prep and prepare. That is what the word condition means. So a leave-in conditioner is a leave-in preparer. Let's break down the words, y'all. When I say read, I'm not just saying look. When I say read, I'm saying look and comprehend, understand the knowledge before you use a product. A leave in conditioner is a le like understand what the word condition means to prepare, to protect, to condition. What are you doing when you're conditioning something? Look up the definition of condition. That's what it's for. Your a leave in conditioner is the preparation for the blow dryer and all see hair conditioner is not made for black girls. It's not. So the women that are supposed to buy the product, they're saying like, OK, I'm not we I love you all so much, but I don't want to talk about hair products because it triggers me and I'm slow about to be in town. So I'm not in the mood to today. I love you all so much. I started to post your video on Facebook chat when the ladies were saying they wet their hair to detangle just don't don't please don't i've been doing this longer like a lot of y'all are just now finding me i've been doing this for a decade over a decade if i haven't been able to change their mind you're not going to be able to change their mind by sending them my video so please oh yeah it's really nice to learn i love learning new things I was putting the oil on my ends, but I no longer need to. But I am. I'm saying don't use oil. Don't use oil is unless you need it to detangle. If you don't need oil to detangle, what are you doing? And I love y'all so much, but everybody's like, oh, I put oils on my oil on my ends. If you put oil on your ears and you want to know why your hair still breaking, there's the answer. Because if you're putting oil on your ends every day, as the sebum comes down your hair shaft, it touches everything but your ends, which is why your ends are weaker than the rest of your hair shaft. But I did the same technique on my 90-year-old mama hair and her hair. Her hair did what? Listen, that's what, what are we talking about? Her, she not a 90-year-old woman. She did my methods on a 90-year-old woman and her sebum, her sebum increased. Stop playing with me. I'm telling you what I know. I don't tell you what I read in a book or what I thought was nice. I'm telling you what I know. I know that I know that I know. Her sebum has increased more than yours. She was able to increase a 90-year-old woman's sebum production in my seven-day challenge. I'm telling you what I know. When I first started scientific brushing, the oil is so light, I didn't know if it was working. When I went to wash my brush bristles, they were covered in sebum. Listen, what are we what are we doing? And sebum is a waxy substance. Yes, you can see it in your brushes. And that's why you gotta comb. That's why you need to be cleaning your combs and brushes on a regular basis. Listen. But guess what? If you're covering your scalp and your hair in oils and butters, you'll never see it. Listen, no more bald headed skittle diddles with no hair in the middle. No more humpty dumps with no hair in the front. No more scallywags with no hair in the back. No more tellywags with no hair on the sides. All right, people, shake my head. We are so easily manipulated and stuck in so many ways. Listen, trying to segregate ourselves. Listen, li girl, listen. It's like how... You, ooh, how do we in one breath complain about them uh, making us out or, or, or making an example out of us or singling us out, but then in the very next breath say, but segregate us in the hair salon, no. 
make products for only black people and you can't use that. Y'all can't use black products, even though we've been wearing Brazilian, Peruvian and Malaysian and Indian hair for the last 12 years. But you can't wear our stuff. Y'all are crazy. Before Sam, my scalp was itching, <laughs> was an itching roller derby. Now my scalp has no itch and feels great. No dryness whatsoever. Roots laying flat and silky. I ain't never going back. Listen, listen. So for every one person that don't believe me, there are 10 more that do. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's background noise. I'm here for the few. If if I'm here for the few and not the many, I'm good with it. <laughs> I'm good with it. Because most of the stuff that y'all do, it, it's going to cost y'all to go buy a whole bunch of different products. And if you stop using these products, it'll break. Every last person that's commented in this challenge can stop using Olaplex today, pick another product, and it'll be good. Because they know it has nothing to do with products. They have learned their bodies. They they not about products. They, they not, oh, this product helps me. When I use this product, this works. No, the people who are in my seven-day challenge are gurus and masters of their own bodies, period. Sometimes I'll take the weekend off and I won't be in the group. I'll come back. They don't even need me. People who have been in the challenge for over a year are answering questions and helping people who just joined. Listen, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Fact, it was years ago when I started watching you and you were the only one using a round brush. That's what I'm saying. Stop playing with me. Like now, because I'm not doing hair anymore, and that's why, and because I have I have almost 2,000 videos that I have unlisted on my channel. Almost 2,000 videos. And every last one of them, I'm using a round brush. And before I started using a brown brush on YouTube, nobody was using them. And this is the thing. Some girls are going to be like, oh, I was using it first. Girl, you wasn't even out of high school when I got on YouTube and started using round brushes. What are you talking about? <laughs> if you 25 and you got a YouTube channel and you round brushing on YouTube and you 25, I've, I've been retired for six years. What, let's get into it. play with somebody else and it's okay i don't need credit for it or no shit like that but let's just call a spade a spade let's let's call it what it is <laughs> and when everyone went natural you said watch their <laughs> watch they ruin their hair then everyone will come back to silk presses and perms etc not your listen I said it word for word verbatim. Thank you so much, beautiful, for for remembering, for hearing me when I said that. Because I probably said that post-COVID. I think I probably said that in like 2017, 2018. So you were OG. I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking around. But before COVID hit, I told y'all. Like everything is cool, y'all all gonna be team natural, and then watch y'all gonna leave team natural, y'all all gonna run back to relaxers and hairstylists. And what's happening right now? Do me a favor, boo. If you find that video that you saw me say that in, can you please, 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 like, uh, find it and leave it in the comments of this video, not here in the live chat, but like in the comments of this video like when this video in or just go to the comments of this video and leave that here oh my god i would i just i don't i'm about to sound real ghetto i have so many live videos i really don't feel like going through all of my old lives and finding it but if you if any of you can find the video where i give the where i tell y'all that this is where we are going to be please find it and send it to me oh my god please i am begging you when everyone started going natural, you said, <laughs> watch how they ruin their hair. Then they will revert back to silk presses and perms, wraps, and etc. Yeah. And that's exactly what everybody's doing right now. Because I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know.
it's the mind in my business I struggle with. I tell my sister to stop oiling my scalp and she tells me she swears by coconut oil. Listen, stop, stop, stop. Listen, you will drive your, listen to me. I'm I'm not saying this from, because I think I'm better than you. I think I'm smarter than you. I know more. I'm telling you this. I'm speaking from experience. You are listening to a person who almost lost their shit. Trying to get these people to change. You cannot explain logic to an illogical mind. I know those are your people, but those are illogical minds. I I will, um, first of all, your sister and whoever else is on this coconut trend is so fucking late. The coconut oil trend started like three or four years ago. And three or four years ago, right now, somebody do me, at least one of y'all, do me a favor and go on YouTube and just type in coconut oil send out and it'll pop up. Literally every team natural hack that y'all have ever done, y'all can type it in YouTube and put my name behind it and it's a video for it. Type in apple cider vinegar, send out a video pop up. Type in but night, uh, ben night clay, send out a video gonna pop up. Type in rice water, send out a video gonna pop up. You name a stupid ass team natural hack, there is a video about it. Period. But the things that they were teaching you were instant. It gave you instant results. So you believe them instead of people like me. That's what it is. Nothing more and nothing less. I've been, I'm not saying nothing different than I've been saying for the last 10 years. And the videos are still here up on my channel to prove it. YouTube is not, oh, YouTube, we don't like Cynthia. No, YouTube is following the viewer. So y'all wasn't, y'all was impressed about knowledge. Y'all wanted quick fixes. And so because y'all wanted quick fixes, that's what the algorithm gave y'all. I've been out here. I ain't went nowhere this whole time. Been out here, ain't folded. Been out here this whole time. In the midst of all of y'all favorite people making videos about me talking shit, ain't nobody gonna bust a grape in a fruit fight when nobody burp a grape if their name was Welch's and don't nobody say nothing directly to me via DM, email, nothing. Only make videos. So I'm gonna keep it going. I'm going to keep it going. You know why? Because for every one person that disagrees, there are about a hundred more people whose lives I change. So I care nothing about the little tip chitter chatter, nothing about it, nothing about it. The only reason that I address the chitter chatter is because I understand that the chitter chatter will confuse a person who is in the process of making a decision and trying to learn something different. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Yes, you said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And people were mad. They was like, sin is, a, she just jealous. She just jealous. Like, listen. So when everybody wants to know why cosmetologists aren't saying that, then why they not speaking up is because cosmetologists have been trying to speak up for y'all for over a decade. And every time a cosmetologist speaks up for y'all against team natural bullshit, y'all attack them. So they said, forget y'all. Y'all figure the shit out on y'all own. My purpose is just a little bit bigger than that. So I don't give a shit about what somebody with thug thumbs is saying online because I'm from the D and nobody who's talking shit online is going to do something. So it doesn't matter. So that's why I'm never going to stop talking. That's why I don't let up because who's going to do something about it? Nobody. They're coming around. Hopefully it won't be too late. After they go bald, then they be broken. Fine. But this is the thing. No, they won't. Because all they got to do is come back and they'll have to watch quite a few of my videos. It's unfortunate that they'll have to go through all of this stuff to undo some stuff that wouldn't have happened if they would have just listened to me now. But if they don't go too far, they'll be able to fix it. But unfortunately, you got professional cosmetologists doing stupid stuff, too. So. Yeah, you stopped me from using aloe vera in one hour deep condition on my hair. It was falling out like crazy. How is it doing now, boo? How is your hair doing now?
Hey, Bill. What convinced me to book you was understanding the science of hair that you elaborated so clearly. The visuals sealed the comprehension deal for me. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I just want y'all to see like how hair is so easy to understand and taking care of your hair, taking care of your body is so simplistic. It's so simplistic and it is the complication that makes it take so much longer than it's really supposed to take. Like three or four years ago, you melted that coconut oil down. <laughs> Let's make some chocolate, baby. Listen, give me a five if y'all want me to share that video real quick about coconut oil so I can show you why you shouldn't put coconut oil in your hair. Just say, show me real quick. Seeing used to do makeup tutorials, styling videos at all. Listen, my cousin finally listened after she just after she just chopped off all of her hair. I wanted to laugh in her face. Listen, listen, let them do it. Let them keep up with the stupid team natural shit. They're going to be back. Lead by example. Let each tree bear its own fruit. Let your tree bear its own fruit. Y'all don't have to keep going around. To uh, I'm about to show you right now. I'm just looking it up. Hold on. Y'all don't have to go around to all of these different people like, you should stop oiling your scalp. You should stop doing this. Dude, don't have to say shit. Let your tree bear its own fruit. You just stop doing it. You stop doing it. You stop doing it. And then they're going to be like, oh, my God. What's, oh, my God. What's going on with your hair? Why do it look so good? Why do it look so good? And then you can say, all I do is use shampoo, conditioner. You can tell them your simplistic routine and then let them go ahead and think whatever it is that they want to think. Because that don't have nothing to do with you. Okay, hold on, y'all. Hold on, playa. Hold on, playa. Okay, I found the video. Now I have to share. Okay. Yes, let that sebum flow so your hair can grow. Listen, <laughs> show me. Okay, I got you. Okay, hold on. I'll show y'all this real quick, and then we're going to leave off of here in a minute because I got to go cook dental for my family. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's hope you guys can hear this, okay? does not go on the scalp fun fact coconut oil does not go on the scalp or the hair's cuticle aka the hair shaft guess what fun fact coconut time. oil does not go on the sorry i want to start it over one more time just so everybody can. fun fact coconut oil does not go on the scalp or the hair's cuticle aka the hair shaft guess what if you want to ingest its benefits just simply take it mash up some cacao nibs along with a little bit of agave and then allow it to solidify within the freezer for a couple of hours but guess what the way that you will watch it solidify here in front of your eyes is the same exact way that it is solidifying within the hair's follicle cutting off oxygen flow which in return will limit the amount out, your hair can grow if your hair is really long using it it could be even longer if you stop fun fact coconut oil does not go so i'm muting it really quick because i just want to show y'all this is the coconut oil that y'all put in your hair right but when you put the coconut oil in the freezer it gets hard like when i eat vegan like when i'm doing vegan recipes and stuff one of my favorite things to make is chocolate from using coconut oil use coconut oil agave and some cacao nibs i let it solidify in the freezer and then this is what happens and so they told you that uh coconut oil is something that you should use because coconut oil it helps to lock in moisture but what really happens is co uh, blah, 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 blah. 
coconut oil is protein seeking and because coconut oil is protein seeking and your hair is made of protein it is going into the hair shaft and it binds to your hair shaft within the cortex that's why when you go to see a licensed cosmetologist you are literally the worst thing a licensed cosmetologist has seen all day if you are a person who uses coconut oil in your hair because it's literally impossible to remove it because it is protein seeking it binds to protein and your hair is protein so yeah is doing great but unfortunately due to religious reasons i might have to give myself hydro fatigue oh okay yeah you told me about that facts results speak for themselves that's what i'm saying like you don't have to i'm allergic to chocolate i will put coconut oil on my feet thank you like put it on your feet i get on your on your body it doesn't go in your hair and the thing is it's like we we don't want to accept the fact that some things just don't go in your damn hair why do we have to argue about that like like we can all agree that onions are so good for you onions have the most natural some of the most natural sulfur on this planet like onions is so freaking healthy for you to eat it's such a great addition to your diet it needs to always be there but let me ask you this this isn't a rhetorical question give me a tool if it's healthy for you to put onions in your eyes even though onions help with your vision do you put onion juice in your eyes because it helped with your vision no because the properties of onions will burn your eyeballs off so you ingest onions so you can take the properties in. You ingest the natural sulfur in onions so that can help rebuild new hair growth cells. You're not putting it like, come on, y'all. These are the things that I want us to think about. These are the things that I need y'all to think about. Like common sense isn't really that common with us for whatever reason, but it needs to become common again. It has to become common again. One of these days. One of these days. Okay. So I love y'all. Um, I think I'm about to go back up again and make sure I didn't miss anybody. But I'm pretty sure I got to everybody's questions. So we are going to head out of here. But if you are a person who is dealing with telogen effluvium, uh, stress from balding with anything, or if you just need help resetting your natural hair growth cycle, then I really, 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 really encourage you to join my seven day challenge. I do have one on one consultations closed for a while. Um, the people who have requested appointments, I will be reaching out to everybody individually. Because a lot of times, like just doing one on one consultations, I'm not gonna lie, it takes a lot out of me, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, right now, um, I'm just offering the seven day challenge, and I have so many different ebooks and so many different free blog posts that you guys can get information from. So, make sure you head over to my channel and look at that. I think I was supposed to be showing y'all testimonials, I was. <laughs> So really quick, we're just going to head over to my website real fast because I just want y'all to see um, how to get to my testimonials because I know um, across social media, even for me, I see so many different people like making up stuff and, you know, is is it's really, really important for me to be able to show you guys somewhere that you can go to find information, right? But a lot of times people just say, oh, I help people do this. I help people do that. I, again, am not good at um, like trying to prove myself to people. Oh, look at what I can do. Look at what I did. I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. So instead, I like to just give people a glimpse of what um, people already have to say for their selves, just so you guys can read through everything on your own. Hold on one second.
So here is um, the testimonial tab on my website. And when you go on here, you can see everybody's experience, right? So you don't have to just take my word for it. Everybody that is in here um, within the seven day challenge are extremely descriptive of their experience, what they were going through before they started the seven day challenge, how the process has been and where they are now. And as you can see, these are not just like two words like, oh, I like the seven day challenge. Like, no, they're telling their whole like stories. You don't have to take my word for it. Right. I just want you guys to head over to my website. And just look through everything. And of course, all of these um, reviews and testimonials are not just about the seven day challenge. A lot of the reviews and testimonials are about, you know, like my products or, you know, one on one consultations and a whole lot of other things that I do over on the website. So, again, um, I should have had the website going across the screen, even though I did not. But here it is right here. So do me a favor real quick. Take a screenshot so you can have my website and head over to my website. Look around, learn some stuff. Like I said, it's a free blog over there. You don't have to pay for anything. You could just be on there reading around all of my scientific stuff and all of my data and experimenting and all of that is over on my website that is scrolling across the bottom or you can download an ebook or you can join the seven day challenge and inside the seven day challenge we are about to talk right now like as soon as I get done talking to you guys so I love you guys so much I really hope that this video was informative in some way shape or form and until the next one